Hey, it's the verse of the day. We're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 5. My name is Brandon Hathaway. I preach at the West Side Church of Christ. I'm glad to have you here. I've got Josiah with me again. He's uh, voluntarily doing this when he comes and helps me out and reads some scripture. Um, Josiah enjoys reading and he uh, enjoys studying the Bible and he uh, wants to help me out. So I'm letting him help me out as he uh, has that desire to. So. Um, hope everybody's doing well your way. Sorry for starting just a little bit late. I was hoping to try that uh, other streaming service again and try to stream on YouTube and Facebook at the same time, but um, had some difficulties and it messed up. So I had to hurry up and refix everything to stream just here to Facebook and then I'll post the video over to YouTube later. So, um, but get to the verse today, Deuteronomy chapter six and verse five is what we're looking at today. Deuteronomy 6 and verse 5. So, looking at this, we're just going to read these verses today right here. And Josiah wants to read the first couple. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children. And shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorsteps of your house and on your gates. So you look at these verses and you read them, and this is all I have on the slides for today. Because I feel like it's got enough there and we, we can talk about enough here. And so in Deuteronomy chapter 5, Moses had went over the Ten Commandments again with the children of Israel. And as he goes over this, and of course, he's what he's doing is preparing Israel to go into the land of Canaan. And of course, Moses can't go with them. And so Moses is preparing the children of Israel in the ways that they should walk. And after listing the Ten Commandments, he comes back into chapter 6 and he goes forth and tells them that they need to keep these commandments. And he goes further to point out here in verse 5, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength. And so when we read about this in Matthew and Mark and Luke, as Jesus is questioned on what is the greatest commandment. This is the greatest commandment right here. You shall love the Lord your God with everything you have, heart, soul, and strength. And so this is the first and great commandment. And the second is like, of course, that you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And it pretty much sums up the Ten Commandments, both of them. The, the first four go along with loving your God, and the last six go along with loving your neighbor. And it's important that we understand that how important this command is, how great this command is, that it's not just you read the Bible and say, oh yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty cool that, that God loves us, or oh yeah, I believe that Jesus died on the cross for us, and then, then, then we just let it be. This is telling us to love God with everything you have, so that every day we are thankful for that sacrifice, every day we show our uh, gratitude by working, by doing uh, what he wants us to do, by being faithful to him. And so here, love your God with everything. And on top of that, it's not just for yourself. But here it says, these which I command you today, you shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, shall talk of them. When you sit in the house, when you walk, when you lie down, when you rise up, put them on a sign, put them on your hand, put them on the uh, doorstep, put them on the fence. I mean, they're there to be everywhere. They, they were to write these commands, and they were to remind their children. And as we study the Old Testament, time and again, they were supposed to make sure that they taught their children, brought that out. And as they enter into the land of Canaan, you know, they put the stones down that each tribe was carrying across the, uh, the river. And they put them and they stack them. And why? 
so that when their children come by and their children's children come by, they keep repeating that story. Hey, what, what is these? Why, why, do, why are these here? Well, God brought us to this land. God delivered us. And this is a sign. This is something that they're to remind us of what he has done for us. We're supposed to be teaching our children. And the important part is to continuously put God first in your lives. So we start there. We start with God comes first. God comes before school. God comes before sports. God comes before games. God comes before fun. God comes first. And then everything else should line up. Because when we say God comes first, that comes to our mind with the decisions we make every day. That we sit there and we say, all right, we're planning on vacation. God comes first, though. So we need to figure out where we're going. But if we can go there, is there a faithful congregation we can visit? When we're considering on a job that this may take you across the country or take you somewhere else uh, across the world, and again, what's this going to do to my faith? Will I be able to attend worship? Is there a faithful congregation in that area that I'm going to be working? You know, and every day. You know, we, we have to consider these things and the choices we make every single day. Because God should come first. We should love him with everything we have. And when we go to work and when we do these things, that we do all things wholeheartedly unto the Lord. And so we want to remind ourselves daily of what God has done for us. Just as under the Old Testament, and that's the thing about reading this, is that, when you study the Old Testament, as much as we like to say, so, so many things are different from the Old Testament to today, from the Old Testament to the New Testament. But you read the Ten Commandments. You read this, these verses right here. That's not changed. Again, in verse 6, verse 6, And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. That's what God has always wanted, is that we apply these things to your heart. That when we study the Word of God, we have these things in our heart. And that's what the New Testament's about. And we say, well, the, the Old Testament's more physical, the New Testament's more spiritual. God, God's always been leading us in the same direction. From the beginning of time, He's always been leading us in the same direction. That's why when we study about Jesus, Jesus continuously points out to the Old Testament, look, this is the way God meant it to be. Yeah, Moses had to make some rules because of the hardness of your heart. But, you know, this is where we're heading, this is where he was heading, and this is where we're going to be. And so let us open up our Bibles, study daily, teach your children daily, set the example every day, and love your God with all your heart, soul, and strength. Hope that I've helped you today. Hope you have a good day. Hope that you will share this, like it, let others see it also, so that they can be encouraged today also. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay.